Um, my name is Minyang Song, and I'm a student in Saison, and this is my TEDx interview. I'll pull a Jenga out. It's number one. Number one, so I will be answering the first question on the sheet. It will be this question, which is, what inspired you to be a TEDx speaker this year? Um, actually, I was part of the TEDx team last year, and specifically a member of the curator team. And as I was assigned a speaker, I saw her starting to brainstorm about her topic and writing her drafts, finalizing it, and eventually speaking about it in her TEDx talk. And since I was watching the process of her whole brainstorming and eventually speaking, I thought it was very inspiring and cool. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to share my notions. Yep. And I'll move on to the next question. It's number two. So I'll pick the second one. This one. The question is, what can this theme be applied to the improvement of society? So this theme, the theme for this year is radical reframe. And I believe radical reframe means to change yourself, not to be too stubborn or, or, be, or contain yourself within a specific or conventional way of yours and start to accept other people's thoughts as well. And I thought that when we do not stick with only our thoughts and start to accept others, it can actually um, extend our possibilities and not limit ourselves instead. And I'll move on to the next one. Okay, it's number six. So the next one will be This question which is who do you hope to make an impact through your talk so my talk will focus on how I went through radical reframe as a teenager so my speech may be may be most re relatable to high schoolers or just um, um, teenagers in general however I believe that as humans everyone has once been caught up in their own thoughts and be reluctant to get out of their comfort zones. And I will try to make an impact on anyone who is still reluctant to get out of their comfort zone and show that when, that even if you don't um, be stubborn about your thoughts or follow your conventional ways, it doesn't limit yourself. And instead, it opens you up to, to more possibilities and opportunities. And then I'll pick the next one. I'll go here. It's number four. So the next question. It's, oh, it's this, which is, are you looking forward to hearing the other talks? Yes, of course. Um, especially this year, I think we have a lot of adult speakers, especially those who are teachers or also parents. And I'm excited to hear how, how they have went through radical reframe as an adult who have their own careers. And that might inspire me as well. And I'll go on to the next, the last question actually, which is number three. It's very long. It says, do you have any past experiences with public speaking and what have you learned from them? I do have experiences in, in doing public speaking through my extracurriculars, such as being a part of a debate team or also a Model Unite delegate. And through those experiences, what I've learned is that when you practice your public speaking or talk more, you're able to become confident. Whenever you have a discussion or an argument with someone else and you realize that you 
the two of you guys have different opinions, you tend, it's easy for us to doubt ourselves thinking that our ideas are wrong because they're different. However, I realized through my experiences in public speaking that just because we have different opinions doesn't mean that one of us is wrong and actually it's different. Thank you, and this was my Seisen TEDx interview.